license agreement, arbitration opt-out form. <laughs> Wait, rewind. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. The fine print says we waive our lawful rights like a jury of peers. Instead, we agree to, get this, non-judicial binding arbitration. It's where just one person hears both sides of a dispute, looks at the evidence and decides. Is that okay with you? We only have 30 days to opt out. Everything needed to reserve your rights for Fortnite and other games is covered here. This started a few nights ago when Fortnite updated their end user license agreement. Yeah, you know, again. No! No and then! 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 No, and then you clicked Accept. to the end user license agreement without actually looking, right? Uh, right? Yeah. Uh, we have sort of a problem here. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah, let me fill you in on the important part. The EULA terms and conditions say that we agree to resolving disputes only through what is called binding individual arbitration rather than hearings in real courts. So if something really matters, like if you earn money from streaming or esports, such as It is Nick 830 here. Then the default EULA railroads our rights like due process, wow. a jury of peers, and class action lawsuits. Such as, if you were permanently banned under false or incorrect pretenses, you would have no lawful remedy nor recourse. You will are up. The decisions from arbitration are actually enforceable by courts. Eh, if. If you don't opt out. So... It's fine. Yeah, no. The Fortnite EULA says we have 30 days to opt out in writing after our agreement. Mmm, yeah. Did you see the memo about this? This is typical for EULAs, especially for games. Thankfully, each time they update their EULA, it's another opportunity to opt out. I am altering the deal. Pray I don't alter it any further. If you missed the last opportunity, the next re-agreement is somewhere around the corner. If you recently agreed to a EULA, now is the time to strike while the iron is hot. All we need to do is send them a letter stating the exercise of the right to opt out and not be bound by the arbitration and class action waiver provisions. This reserves our actual rights. I recommend adding a clause to the opt out making it apply to all future EULA agreements as well, so we don't need to refile after each one. Yeah, they aren't really clear on that point, so yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I have the memo right here, I just uh, forgot. Yeah, the memo is in the video description below. It's a free printable PDF form letter that has everything required to exercise the right to opt out of Epic Games' EULA arbitration and class action waiver. There is also a blank opt out form letter that can be tailored for most games. You can download it, customize it, and print it. Fill in the date, the game name, account handle, and your personal name and address. If it's not the specific Fortnite form, then put in the game company details like their corporate name and legal department address from their EULA. Initial the four sections to exercise them and sign and date at the bottom. Make a copy or scan for your own records. And finally, mail it to Epic Games Legal or otherwise addressed in the letter. If you need certification of delivery, you can send it by certified mail and even with a return receipt. Once filed, we have actual protected rights regarding our game accounts. Wow. Like, subscribe, and share this with your gamer friends. They may need to know this stuff, especially if they earn money gaming. You know something I don't know. Wow. Yeah, tell them they need to reserve their lawful rights. It's free real estate. Stay tuned for the bonuses at the end. Yeah. Did you get that memo? Yeah, I got the memo. From here, we're going over the linked EULA opt-out form letter memo. Wow! Yeah, the first paragraph of the form letter is the main point and the text is drawn from the EULA itself. It states, I do not wish to resolve disputes with EPIC through arbitration as per section 12.6, your 30-day right to opt out. This is the exercise of the right to opt out of and not be bound by arbitration provisions, end quote. Next, your account and contact details are filled out. 
Then, the first section to initial states, by initializing this line, I exercise the right to opt out of and not be bound by section 12.4 class action waiver provisions, end quote. We want to be party to class action suits, of course. You what? Yeah. Yeah. The second section to initial states, by initializing this line, I do not waive the privilege of arbitration. The exercise of arbitration does not limit the right and exercise to dispute resolution by other methods at any time, end quote. Yeah, this retains arbitration as a voluntary option and renders its decisions non-binding. If you want arbitration, it can be exercised, but it does not restrict alternate methods of dispute resolution, including during an arbitration or after an unjust decision on both sides. So I voted wrong. Vote never votes okay. wrong, but vote, voted wrong this time. Vote, voted wrong. It's her. Huh? <laughs> oh no, he didn't. Apologize to you. Pardon me if I say poppycock. Then say it. Poppycock. Though only in the most unusual cases would Epic likely want to spend the money to try to judicially stop an arbitration or reverse its decision. Also, if we want arbitration to be binding in a particular dispute, we can request that too. So I want to see some movement. I'm not seeing enough movement. <coughs> oh my God. The third section to initial states, by initializing this line, this notice acts as the exercise of the right to opt out of indicated provisions per section 12.6 in all future EULA changes, updates, and agreements as well. This notice shall survive any and all re-agreements and shall act as notice at acceptance of the exercise of the right to opt out of indicated or similar provisions in all future re-agreements until revoked in writing." End quote. Here is a unicycle. You will ride it wherever you go. What? I'm not riding the f***ing unicycle. I have altered the deal. Pray I don't alter it any further. We shouldn't have to refile an opt-out form each time they change the EULA. If they change the EULA, this section provides that the notice of opting out doesn't just apply to this one, but all future agreements as well. Yeah. Yes! Again? Seriously? Hey, and speaking of problems, What's this I hear about you having problems with your TPS reports? Yeah. Didn't you get that memo? The fourth section to initial states, by initializing this line, the section 12.3.2 arbitration procedure choice of law is law of peace and only law of peace, including, but not limited to, Wake County, North Carolina, U.S. courts, and arbitration, unless otherwise consented to, end quote. This is to ensure that all hearings, proceedings, administration, arbitration, etc. are under law of peace rather than law of war. The common presumption of peace does not necessarily mean governing under law of peace, as we are owed. See my other videos for more information on such topics. I do not recognize the authority of a court that hangs the gold French flag. A flag with gilded edges is the flag of an admiralty court. An admiralty court signifies a naval court-martial. I initialized all four sections in my letter, and non-legally, humanely, I recommend you do the same. In closing, the intentions are stated. I wish to be able to decide methods of dispute resolution in each instance without being forced into binding individual arbitration. I recognize and affirm that informal resolution, then small claims court and arbitration, and finally, judicial hearings typically are the least costly options for all parties in that order." End quote. While this last paragraph is not needed, it shows that we're not being unreasonable, nor contrary, just logical. That behavior is highly illogical. I like you. <laughs> and finally, sign and date. Make a copy or scan for your own records and mail them your opt-out form. This deal is very fair and I'm happy to be a part of it. This exercises the right to opt out of arbitration and the class action waiver, thus reserving your rights. If you need proof of delivery, certified mail can be used with an optional return receipt. For more information about how to competently sign as authorized representative, see episode 17. By the way, your signature is artwork and should absolutely always be copyright. Yeah, the copyright for your signature artwork is built into this memo. Yeah, and uh, I'll go ahead and make sure you get another copy of that memo. Okay? Yeah, no, I, I, I have the memo. I've got it. It's right. Hello, Phil. 
so be sure to file your opt-out memo within 30 days of your agreement to their EULAs. The free printable form letters are in the video description below. Happy gaming, and may your aim be true. If you found this useful or not, comment below. Like, share, and subscribe. Oh my god, yes! Yes! Oh my god! Or whatever floats your goat. Let me down. You went on and on about how sweet the candy was, then told me not to put it in my mouth and got mad at me when I did. If by candy you mean ancient forbidden evil, then yes, I told you not to put it in your mouth. Yeah, I spent two months on the last episode, 18. It's a documentary on the voluntary nature of IRS taxes. We don't need to continue funding these genocides, warmongers, and military-industrial prison complex. If you are concerned about your karma in supporting these wars, please, see episode 18, The Taxpayer Money Myth. Even multiple former IRS agent whistleblowers, IRS commissioners, and U.S. representatives have shown 98% of all tax revenue paid by American taxpayers is paid voluntarily. Right about now, the fun soul brother, check it out now, the fun Rick, the light's on now. Uh. It's fine. This is Rixie 137. We've been kidnapped and replaced for season seven. Uh, what season seven? We're breaking the fifth wall, Morty. Listen, we've been taken by evil to a parallel final. We didn't even know the effect. Bello. Tuttle, Tardis, I, I, I don't know anymore. Uh. Unknown fractal turbulence and curves, yeah. Sentence up. Did you get any of that? Ooh, wee! You are sleeping. You do not want to believe.